So I'm filming my day, filming when it goes right, filming when it goes wrong, because I want it to be real world plumbing. Realistic, That's the key. Yeah. I had to get a C or higher in design and technology. To get into a plumbing course. To get into, back in the day. There's loads of work around at the minute, isn't it? Everybody right. I speak to is busy, busy, busy. Get into your lead work. It's a dying art. Yeah, Get into is. your lead work. I want my name on my van because it looks good. It was an old crappy van, but I have my name on it. Doesn't and matter, I, yeah. I literally come out and go, I've, I've done it, I'm working that on my own boss, you know. In our last podcast, we spoke about planning, design, and a product which not only looks great, but also helps protect your house from the elements. One of those elements is water, and today's guest is no stranger to a bit of H2O. We've watched him install some beautiful bathrooms. We've seen him dine in style with the George Foreman grill on site. <laughs> We've seen him unravel the mystery of a certain shower company's two-year warranty. Oh, yeah. And recently, he's given us a bit of a sneaky peek of him in his Lycra. <laughs> I'm very pleased to welcome along to the show Mark Tiff from MJ Tiff Plumbing and Heating. Yes. So, again. Mark, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, right, okay. Well, you know me from old anyway, I John. Um, Mark Tiff, owner of MJ Tiff Plumbing and Heating. I think I set it up 20, 2007, so touch on 15 years ago for myself. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, base round Warwick, Leamington. Kenilworth, Stratford. I don't tend to go out too far. No. Because of the area we're in, the, the, the work's there. So being a sole trader, it's just easier to, to, to keep it close. I have I have um, gone down to uh, various different places. Do the odd job far away yeah, down yeah, London done or a, whatever. Done or one that is, uh, is quite, yeah, quite good, which we might touch on later on. But yeah. But yeah. But yeah, as a whole, try to keep it pretty like, pretty local. Cool. Are there any areas in plumbing that you specialise in? Do you know what? When you asked me that question, just as, a, as a, an outline, th there's no real... I don't specialise in anything, really. As people will have seen on my YouTube channel, I do a bit of everything. And yeah. People have commented saying, the range of work that you do is awesome. Like the other day, I done a grease trap. Before that, it's a couple of radiators. Before that, it's a massive house renovation. Tap washers. I'm of the belief, and I, it was one of the, the core things when I set my company up was, don't turn away them little jobs. You do Mr. Smith's tap washer, and then you do his bog that's playing up, then when his boiler breaks down or he needs a bathroom, he knows he'll you. come to you. Yeah. The amount of people that ring me or message me and go, I don't know if you do small jobs. I can't get my head around people that don't do these small jobs. I've run three or four plumbers and not got back to me. I don't understand it. It all mounts up, doesn't it? And it's all the At the end of the day, then, someone's yeah. going to do that job. Yeah. So. Why well, alienate yourself from it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. No problem. I'm going to do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. It leads on to the bigger and better things. Yeah. That's but, it. But that was the sort of ethos when I started on my own. And another thing was, my old man said to me, always let a customer know if you're going to be late. Because in our game, I find in our game in the trade, especially as a, a, a sole trader, you sort of on the back foot a little bit because people see on the TV these road traders and this and that. So you all, I always find you're all, you've got to break that down. You've got to be the customer's got to be you know reassured. Yeah, by reassured yeah. with you yeah. that you're going to be there. So you know, ring them. I'm going to be twenty minutes late, or you know, I'm, I'm twenty minutes early. Are you in? Can I swing round? And that has gone a long way. A lot of people I've worked for have gone. Oh, you're on time. As a tradesman, you what do you mean you're on time? Are you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so no, that was the sort of ethos behind it. That's good. Um, yeah. So you mentioned that you've been in the business for about 15 years on your own. So on own. how yeah, did you get yeah, into yeah. it? Did you do an apprenticeship to start with? Yeah. We so, touched on that a few yeah. podcasts ago. I don't know if you heard yeah. the first one. Yes, but, I did. Yeah. So the reason why I got into plumbing relates to the sort of person I am. I remember I was 15, 16. I think the lads have been on a holiday to Newquay. It was, what, 94? Been on holiday to Nuki. All the lads that I sort of went to school, we grew up with, were all going off to uni, do their own things. Mm -hmm. I was never that lad in school that could get a uni. No. Nah. You know, I was the guy getting kicked out of the lesson. <laughs> so um, I remember my sister had a friend live around the corner uh, in a little village I grew up in, Hampton Magna. And he had a Rover 216 GTI. Nice. Yeah, he was 18, 19, Rover 216 GTI. Um, and I remember saying to him, oh, I like your car, Phil. This, that, and the other. If you're listening, Phil Williams, you know you are. Um, I like your car. You know, how, how, how have you got that? Oh, I'm a plumber. 
straight away, instantly. If he can have a car like that, oh, I want to be a plumber. I'm going to be a plumber. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, genuinely, that is how I've gone right. I want to go into it. It's not a bad way to get into it, though, is it? It was just that <clears throat> shiny four wheels that sort of drew me in. Yeah, yeah. And it's been, could be a bane of my life ever since, the four wheels. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's what sort of got me into the, into the, uh, into the trade. So was that your first choice, plumbing, or yeah. did you already were you already in something? So I did. Um, I did a milk round for a little bit during that progression of sort of leaving school to send. I think college was five or six weeks away. Mm. Crossover did a milk round for Church Farm Dairy yeah, yeah, at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, now brewery. Now Church Farm Brewery. Um, so I was doing the milk round a little bit, and then got into college. Um, I think the only grades I needed from school to get into college was, I think it was design and tech. I had to get a C or higher in design and technology. So to then, get into a plumbing course? To get into, back in the day. Right. Just to get into a plumbing course, you had to get a C or in design and technology, no maths, no English, nothing. And I weren't great at them um, subject. I can add up and I can speak half decent English. But to get the apprenticeship, I had to get... Um, a C or above in design te- technology. So I just lumped everything into that, oh, done yeah. that, got accepted into college. It was the time when you could just get in on the courses. It weren't, I, th- I think now you need A's, B's, C's. There's all sorts yeah, now, isn't it? It just so puts people much. off, in my opinion, you know. But I was always a grafter. I'd work. You know, a tr- I was never going to be sat there on a desk. You're prepared to put the hours in, but you might yeah. have the academic side, which, you yeah. know, it's got to be an even balance, hasn't it, at the end yeah, of the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Exactly. So... so Speaking of like colleges and young people, yeah. do you ever think of, obviously you're a sole trader, do you ever yeah. think of taking anybody on, training them at? Do you know what, This uh, I've, I've been asked this a lot and I've had a lot of messages off the back of the YouTube, emails from people, do you take apprentices on? And do you know what, as a sole trader, I think it's hard. I think a company, especially of your size or, or, or a bigger company with five or six blokes, can take apprentices on. I'd love to, but I just think... The cost of taking an apprenticeship, yes, you get your grants and, and this, that, and the other are given to you. But out of my day, I've got to earn X amount of money in my day, and then to teach someone else, it's taking it away from me. It so, takes time out of your yeah, day, doesn't it? So I'm going to Mrs. Smith to do a tap washer or whatever, and it's, you know, 100 quid job or whatever. Then the lad's coming with me and it's stretching it out. I just think for me, it might be wrong for other people, but for me, it doesn't work with me just being on my own with your business model it's not yeah 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 yeah. as as much as i'd love to i just can't get it to work and i don't people might go in on me for this but i don't want to expand my business too big i get people that want that growth and that that want a huge business and turning over loads of money but i see chippies and sparkies that got four or five blokes on or two or three blokes and they're just stressed out to the nines because Oh, he hasn't turned up. He hasn't come in. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. You've got to manage all the men. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to pay yeah. them. You've got to deal with clients as yeah. well. And then you've got sure insurances, and... health and safety. Which I just think for me, I've, I say I've done fifteen years on my own. And if ever I get really busy on a job, I've got other plumbers I can call on. Give us a couple of days here. Give yeah, us a couple of days there. But for the apprenticeship side, it sort of pains me a little bit that. I'm not supporting it, but I, the messages I get, do you take apprentices on? I also go to a bigger company like, for instance, back in the day, I did my apprenticeship with um, a, a, a guy um, and he packed up after a while, so I went to Adams and Simmons. Right. That did a lot of AC Lloyd's work back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I done my apprenticeship with them, a firm with 25 people on the books. And you, it just worked because you was put with... You can go with all the different people yeah, and then different you was things put, from I was different put people. With, and, you know, uh, bless him, he's not with us anymore. Uh, a guy called Mick Briggs, proper old school plumber. He would teach you everything you need to know, plumbing-wise. Then the other boy, I went with a, a, an old boy, a lead work guy, and he said to me, and I kicked myself quite a lot for this, he said to me, um, get into your lead work. Get, you know, it's a dying art. Yeah, Get into is. your lead work. And I remember, and I think this is what done it for me. I remember sitting on, um, I think it was the library down in Leamington mm-hmm. when they were refurbing that from memory. And I remember sitting on the roof with this old boy, tapping away at a bit of lead. It was pissing down. <laughs> we got so... And I was sat there going, this ain't for me. Oh, I don't want to be doing this. This ain't for me. I get tapping, you know, pipe runs, not a problem. I want to go back with Mick Briggs when we were in the house doing the pipes. I don't want to be sat here tapping a bit of... Bit of lead. I've never understood why plumbers do lead. Like, 
Where's the roofers? Yeah, it's a roofing thing. Why do plumbers do that? There's obviously it, a reason yeah. why that sort of evolved. But I, I don't know the background on no. it, but it always sort of baffled me. That's a roofers thing. Yeah, especially now, if you want lead work doing, you ain't going to ring up me no. or a plumber. You're going to no. ring a roofer. Yeah, you're if ring your if roof anybody up. that's watching this on YouTube, if you know, then let us know in the comments. Yeah, I'm really keen to know why. I'm sure there's a really straightforward explanation. Yeah, we'll probably look like idiots yeah. now, but yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so your business is doing really well. Yeah. You've got loads of work on. Have yeah. you been impacted at all by price increases recently? Because it's, it's like timber. The price of timber has gone through the roof. It's yeah, ridiculous, yeah, yeah. Aren't it? as with all materials, really. So have you noticed much of a, an increase? I sp- not. Yes. Yes is the, the, the short answer. I spoke to Dave, the manager down at Plumbase, about this specifically when, when we knew it was coming up. Shout out to Dave. Shout out to Dave at Plumbase. Um the mar he's he's sort of explained the margins in plumbing stuff isn't massive, so for instance I think he said it's a thirty percent rise on plastics i.e. plastic installing pipe soil pipe waste pipes around thirty percent okay and then I said to him well, what about copper because copper fluctuates that much you price a job six months earlier and the copper prices you, you know you could lose a lot of money yeah I yeah. tie into my quotes you know that's your quote. Um, subject to any inflation in copper prices. And I think, for instance, copper price was, let's say, for instance, 70 quid for 30 metres of 15 mil copper, and now it's about 100, 140 quid. Wow. Yeah. So that that copper is the key. But then on, on the other hand, you've got the, the scrap prices. I think, off the top of my head, it's about four grand a tonne for scrap copper. Whereas I've known it to be fifteen hundred quid a ton. Yeah, that's a massive difference. So, yeah, yeah. So at the minute, all those plumbers out there that have got sheds full of copper, I have. Yeah, garages full of copper. Uh, I think whether it's going to peak or not, I don't know. But Better get it in pretty it's soon. Like, it's like is this cryptocurrency? Yeah. But we really cop- is it going to peak? Shall I weigh it in now or I'll what? Sell it quick. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the Dave said the the margin or the profits in plumbing stuff isn't that good as opposed to. You know, timber. Yeah. You know, or was it 200% or something? It's about it? 200%, I think it is. Yeah, Crazy. it's ridiculous. I think someone said to me there was a, a container, for argument's sake, you know, 1,000, 1,500 quid's worth of, of timber in this container, and it's now, you know, three, four grand container. Yeah. How can you price your job on that? You can't, can you? I mean, you've, you've mentioned a good caveat in your th- in your yeah. quote saying, you know, subject to rises. Yeah, you've you got know, to cover you, yourself. You've got to cover yourself, really, haven't yeah, you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. You know, otherwise you can get bit, and you're doing a massive job with six grand's worth of copper yeah it's a lot to lose yeah yes. especially if you're on your own well even if you're yeah. not on your own if you're just a big company yeah, yeah. and that's company, a thing as well be, being being a on my own sole trader is out lane. you don't want to go to a customer well i personally don't go to a customer and ask for payment up front unless it's a massive job if it's a you know a bathroom to do or something like that i just think it's sometimes it's unprofessional to ask for a lump sum in the relative scheme of a an eight grand bathroom. Yeah, yeah. You'd like to think the, the plumber that you're employing or the tradesman that you're employing has got the clout to be able to front that, mm-hmm. you know. So. Yeah, in advance. So yeah. they can do the job and then get paid after. Whereas if those price increases happen, you get Not spanked so a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So your workload, have you, how are you finding that recently? There's loads of work around at the minute, isn't there? Everybody Mate, I speak to is busy, busy, busy. Mate, the last 18 months, we, we were just talking about, the last 18 months has been manic to the point of on putting people back three, four months, and they're willing to wait. I've got a, I've got a brilliant customer base, um, and people are willing to wait for me. Obviously, you know, reactive plumbing, uh, you know, burst pipes or something that needs doing straight away. You can always free up your day, or you can drop off. Like for instance, I'm doing a, a barn conversion at the minute. If I get a phone call come in saying, you know, the the bog's leaking or whatever, I can. Swing off that a couple of hours early. Swing there. Pop in. Yeah. yeah. Juggle things around a bit. But workload has been um, a lot. But it's for, for every trade, isn't it? Every trade's got the same. And I've, I've, my missus had two weeks off work a couple of months ago. How oh, can we go away for the weekend? You know, even a Monday and a, a Friday, Friday and a Monday, Monday just to make a four day. Yeah. I can't. I weren't popular. Too busy. I weren't popular at all. She was not impressed. But I'm sort of sweet, trying to sweeten the blow by going, look, next year when we can travel a bit more freely, I'm going to try, because I haven't had a break for you know 18 months or so, try and get three or four weeks if I can, just to go, right, you know, 
we'll go away. We haven't been able to do it. We've had no holidays. Let's try and get three or four weeks. It's important away. to have a bit of a break, isn't it? Because yeah, otherwise yeah. you can just I mean, get bogged down by it all. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite mentally resilient, but I found coming off the back of a, a house conversion, if anyone's watching have seen it, I did a big house conversion and it was quite good because I documentary, documented the whole process of it. But that near the end was really getting to me. We had a time time point to hit. Mm-hmm. People had rented, they had handed the notes in on the rent. They had to be in the house. But then we had every trade, every man, you know, it's like yeah. every man is documenting the decorators were on top of the chipping. It's carnage. Sparkies didn't have the power on. And it ends up taking longer because you've got so many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then the, what killed that job, well, I didn't kill it, but made it hard was they were keeping all the floors, they were having the floors sanding. They looked mega at the end of it. But um, the floor sand, you'd know more than anyone, John, the floor sanders come in, they had to have a certain room or a corridor for two days, had to prep it. You can't walk down. on that. Can't yeah, walk on it. it. Yeah. So it was an old, old Victorian house, not far from here. You only had one way in, so that shut down the whole site. Everyone for three yeah, days. Yeah. Of course, I didn't mention it to the missus. What you shut down for three days? Let's go away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> right, get in the car. We're going. But you wouldn't have got out of that one. No, no. I no. just kept going to work every morning. <laughs> <laughs> to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's not watching this. No, she won't um, be. So you're doing really well at the minute. When you started off, um, just going back to starting out, yeah. how did you go about branding your company and getting your name out in the local S- area? See, branding, I've always... It's been a big thing for me. When I set my company up on my own, I was dead proud. I've got my own business. My old man passed away just before, well, a couple of years before I went on my own. And he would have been proud of... Go, go on your own, Mark. Do it. See if you can do it on your own. So... It was conscious because of the town, the small towns that we live in, Warwick, Leamington, etc. You see, I had my van sign written from day one. Straight away. Yeah, 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 because it's recognition. The local people in the area see that van consistently. It must be good because he's still going. They see you around. It's brand yeah. awareness. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, yeah, brand awareness. And at the time, I wanted my name on the van. For me, it was, I want my name on my van because it looks good it was an old crappy van but I have my name on it doesn't and matter I, yeah. I literally come out and go I've, I've done it I'm worked that on my own boss you know um, and then when I progressed to that van blew up and I'll transit that van blew up so I bought a new van and slightly tweaked the logo a little bit and had it it was a white van with uh, orange and black on it with my logo on it yeah I remember that one you remember yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and being a car guy I had a nice set of wheels on it because I see the vans our, as tradesmen. Our vans are our offices. Yeah, that that you spend every day in it. So I wanted it to look the part, look nice, and the, the branding on the side. And I was just proud of it. And then just driving around, people see it consistently. As I say, they know you. You're worth your salt. You know. You know. You're not going to be here two months later disappear. No. And your branding stands out as well. Yeah, it? so it keeps it's in people's minds. Yeah, and now I get a lot of people say, whenever I see orange and black, they either go, "It's wolves' colours," yeah. or it's your, you know, it, and it's subliminally in there. I saw that post of that taxi that somebody yeah, tagged yeah, you yeah. in there and so it was some, like, yeah, because it's the it, orange yeah. straight away they thought of you. But instantly, so that's subliminal marketing. Yeah. And um, I watched a few, I listen to a lot of podcasts and watch a lot of stuff and there's there's a guy, a car, a car guy, ironically enough, that, and he's like, brand everything. Ev- brand a lot. Not overkill it, but, so I've got t-shirts made up and caps and, just be proud of what you've done. I'm so proud of the business I've... Yes, I'm just a sole trader. I haven't got eight blokes working for me, but I'm proud of what I've achieved. Yeah, you've come a long way at the yeah, end of the day. and I'm proud to want to wash my van. I'll stand back and go, do you know what? That's mine. I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. play to you. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it's a massive thing, and I get a lot of people asking me. A guy on Instagram messaged me um, the other day because I put, put quite a lot out there, um, especially with my branding on, and a guy said he works for an old boy and this old boy sort of said, oh, we don't want this van, classic one, we don't want the van assignment, we don't want people knowing what's in there. I get that, that's an old school, mm. it's always been, hasn't it? It yeah. always been. Don't know your van written. They know there's tools yeah. in there or whatever. I, I understand that, I can get that. But for me, it's brand awareness. Make people know. It's free advertising. You drive anywhere, it's advertising. It's a mobile billboard. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And people, So people wouldn't have their van branded, but they'll pay 500 quid a year to be in the not the yellow page. No, I was going to say yellow yeah. page as well. <laughs> yeah, that's the age, mate. Yeah, yeah. Or, or che- checker trade. Um, I was at the tool fair yesterday, and the checker trade guy had me in headlock trying to get me to sign up and this, that, and the other. I don't need, 
I don't need, need it. No. I don't need it because where we are, everyone knows the brand. You know, I get people message me or ring me. Oh, I've seen how clean your van is, and cause I'm quite, as you know, yeah. quite particular. I've seen your van. If your work reflects your van, must be all right. Yeah, that's that is one good point because you see people driving around, their vans are like minging, and yeah. you just think, what sort of what sort of image is that portraying when you yeah. pull up outside a client's house and your van's a state they're yeah, not going to think dripping all over the new yeah. pain yeah well you get out and your clothes are co- you're covered yeah. in everything it's yeah. just not a very good image is it no, image no. is a massive thing yeah yeah. You know, if it's... someone pulled up outside my house and sort of fell out the van and crisp wrappers everywhere you'd yeah. be like sorry mate in. yeah I've changed my mind yeah, yeah, do. yeah so speaking about image and getting your name out there yeah. let's talk about YouTube oh. so you've made pretty good progress to be honest you're done, done currently right. at nearly 8,000 subs in yeah. eight months yeah yeah that's good going mate I'm, I'm impressed with that cheers yeah what made you start the channel what made me start the channel so I've always been um into like photography and I like my social media and believe it or not looking at me if you're watching on YouTube I used to do a lot of cycling um hence the lycra not hence the lycra. just some weird video that I saw of you <laughs> <Some petition laughs> yeah. um and I used to um be a part of the committee of the local cycling club and I did all their social media and I've seen the reach that had so I stepped away from that when we got busy going into COVID I said look I haven't got the time to do this mm-hmm. anymore so I stepped away and then the, the middle of last summer I sort of seen your channel seen a couple of the other plumbing channels that are on YouTube there's, there's probably three or four or five relatable plumbing channels for me I don't want to watch a channel that's, oh, this is this, this is this, this is a 2694, but... Proper technical stuff. Yeah, I get it, there's a market for it, but for me, I wanted to see what I do every day, you know, find the channel that's relatable to me, and I couldn't really find one. There was a few, and I thought, there ain't one, so let's give it a go. Why not give it a go? Why not make one? So the diverse range of work I've got, I thought... It could it could have some weight in it. So I'm one of these people that um, if I'm going to do something, I want to be able to do the best I can do it. I'll research it and find out the algorithm. I'm quite data driven. Find the ins and outs. Yeah, I want to know yeah. exactly how it works. So I listen to a lot of podcasts. I like my car YouTube channels, and I thought they're appealing the way they do it, the the music, the slow motion bits, the cuts and all that sort of stuff. I thought, that's how I want my channel to look. So I had a little play around, and then the 1st of January, I think I listened to a, someone said, you've either got to go feet first into it and have a go. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. So I sort of said, right, okay, we'll give it a go. Put a little, I remember doing a little teaser on uh, on Instagram, just put my logo on the screen of my computer and just put my camera across it and put some dramatic music and went coming soon like yeah. a trailer coming soon I remember seeing that yeah, yeah. Oh, did you see yeah, it yeah, and, yeah. and, and the, I got a few people going oh what are you doing and then someone messaged me and went oh this will be good because they know what you. I'm like Yeah, you know I'm very much like you outgoing and chat the iron legs off a donkey but why not give it a go so I've done it to put a little bit of videos together if you watch some of the early ones they're not great well, yeah, you've got to start somewhere though, haven't you? You've and it's all a learning somewhere. curve. And yeah. it, it, it can be quite a steep learning curve sometimes, but it's yeah. like baptism of fire, isn't it? Exactly. Just, you get straight in there and that's it. So yeah. what, what do you use to film with? So I originally started with just my phone. I spoke to a mate of mine who runs a media company and uh, he said, I'll give him an outline of what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be relatable, quite raw. I want to go in someone's house and right, this is this, this is this. He said, just do it on your phone. Because I said, do I need to buy cameras with the... What are they called? With a big the, microphone on yeah, top. Oh, the gimbal. No, no, the, the, the fluffy thing on the top. Yeah, microphone. With the microphone. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, do I need all that? Yeah. So I'm, no, just do it on your... It might, it, might, yeah, it might not work. So. You don't want to go spending thousands yeah. of pounds straight away. So I started it just on my phone, downloaded a, um editing app on my phone, and just went from there. And I've got half a clue on how to edit stuff. So you do all your own editing? Yeah, do all yeah. my own editing on my phone. So yeah, film it on my phone. Between you know, between jobs or lunchtime, I sit on my phone, edit it up. So it's so I'm filming my day, filming when it goes right, filming when it goes wrong because I want it to be real world plumbing. Realistic. That's the key. Yeah, that's real, it, world real world plumbing. plumbing. I want it to be relatable to to people. I don't want it to just be the the good stuff. So you know, if, and one of my videos, I drilled a pipe by accident, water lashing out everywhere, and people are like, that is what happens. You know, 
you can't get that pipe from that point to that point without chopping the wall out here. It's, it's real world plumbing. Yeah. That's what we have to do in the game to get the job done. And that's what people want to see. Like people they don't see. want to see the different pipe sections no, and this and that. The, like you said, some do, and yeah, there's channels but, for them. But for me, you know, and like going into to plumb base, the merchant will buy my, my gear from having the rapport with the lads. You know what it's like. You go in. Oh, do us a deal on that. Do us a deal yeah. on that. And they like that side of it because even Dave, the manager, and the lads, uh, Steve and Aidy at plumb base have become their own. You get people going, oh, where's the lads going to be? Like, yeah. yeah. Do the do the guys from Plum Base like yeah, get involved yeah. today? Dave, seems the manager. To, Dave seems to. Dave's a funny one. Yeah. He can you can have the crack with him and a laugh with him. As soon as you get your camera out, he goes, I wouldn't. <laughs> I think on one of my videos, I tried to get him to do the old like, comment, subscribe thing, and we must have done ten takes. Really? Out. Yeah. So so the take that was all right, I didn't use. I just used all them crap takes. The outtakes. Because it's gold. Better. Oh, it's yeah. gold, mate. Yeah. So have you got any aspirations for the channel? So like a number of followers, target that you're trying to reach? Do you have like, any collabs? Yeah, sponsors? I'd like to hear. You've already got the merchandise. Got the merch going. Yes. And have I even had people... See, this is what... Are you going to be selling those? Well, this is what... It amazes me. The whole YouTube thing amazes me. I've got these. Obviously, my company on the front, Real World Plumbing on the back, and my logo. I've had people, other plumbers say, are you selling them? I never even thought of it. But then I'm like, that's my company. So I might, I might, a bit of an exclusive, I might tweak it so it's not my company, but with the real world. The real plumbing, world plumbing, Just yeah. so it's, you know, another company or another lad with his own business will wear it. Because he's, he's got my company on it at the minute. Um, aspirations, I'd like to it, I say we're nearly at 8,000, 100 off 8,000. I'd like to it 10,000 by Christmas if I can. The rate you go in. I never even thought I'd get a thousand, mate, if I'm honest. Yeah. And it, it was never done to get massive. It was done because I work on my own. It's a bit of company. A bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah a bit of fun. A bit, a bit of company chatting into a camera. But yeah, I've had, I've done a, a collaboration or a sponsor, a couple of, and I asked, funny enough, I did a video because I'm quite conscious of it. I did a video asking, would people be put off if I had a sponsor? one video a month I think the, the the agreement was one video a month for 10 months and I didn't want to sound myself out yeah I didn't want to be that guy yeah, yeah. I am that guy now but <laughs> I didn't want to know I didn't want to be that guy of of doing it so I, I did a video saying you know would it be offensive to anyone literally every comment was mate the time it takes you to do the videos edit it get the content if it's 90 seconds it's 90 seconds to two minutes at the start of one video a month near enough everyone might just do it mate yeah. you deserve it yeah so time I'd, is money at the end of the day yeah. it's precious yeah. and if somebody's going to offer you some money for yeah. your time then and why it's not? a relevant Nobody company can, can I name the company or not yeah, can, yeah. so the company Skillshare they're relevant they do it's like an online going into the pattern now it's an online learning community so you can click on this Skillshare and they help you with your YouTube channel photography filmmaking it's a massive company with all these different bits right um so i've gone on board with them for 10 videos which has been great but then i've also had um there's an under four eating company that have messaged me you know thrashing some terms out they want to do a bit with me so you're gathering momentum now yeah Sponsors but i don't want to just go wanna... yeah i don't want to just go yes 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 to everything you know you don't want to sell out no, no i don't want to sell out you know under four eating yeah um but if it was someone selling Oh, well, you advertise these knitting needles on your channel. Obviously, yeah, it's no. random stuff that's relevant to you. Yeah. It will be relevant to your viewers that yeah. they might find interesting. Yeah. Well, why not, mate? You and know. was just at the tool fair yesterday, and I met up with another up and coming YouTube, plumbing YouTuber there, and we spent the day together, and we ran into um, the likes of PB Plumber, Nick Bundy, the electrician, you know, a few of the other trades, you know, YouTubers, and it was it was a it was a good. Meet up, yeah. You know, it was all like, all right, mate, how are you doing? It was, it was just nice. It's it was a like, community, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It's it, a nice thing, and it's it not gives anybody you anybody being bitchy about no, each other or whatever. Everyone's, everyone's encouraging, in, everyone's encouraging. So, you get a lot of positive comments and whatever. Do you get much negative? <laughs> there's, I know, there's a few people that we have it as well, yeah. you know. I think people like to nitpick yeah. at things and whatever. Um, Nobody's perfect at the end of the day, but yeah. you know, it's just, um. It's just crap comments, isn't it? But yeah, a bit frustrating sometimes. Yeah. But you just got to glaze over it. Oh, And mate. that is it. It, it. it harks back to when I listen to these podcasts from these various people. And one guy, he said, every comment is an interaction. And YouTube love the interaction. They'll push your content if you're interacting. 
but you try not to reply to those interactions. Mm. And it's how you, you got, I mean, you get a lot more com- comments than me, but say you got 300 comments and one comment is a negative comment. That's the one that stands out. Human nature, you're going to that comment. Yeah. You're sitting there, I'm shuffling around on the sofa, my missus going, she don't even need to ask me now. Don't reply. <laughs> Just, ignore Just ignore it. Just ignore it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, put your phone down. Shuffling around, like you pick your phone up. She's gone. You replied, ain't you? I've gone. Yes, I've got it. <laughs> but what, what what I had on mine was, um, I got a couple of crap comments. It was like I put an outside tap on a wall and I drilled the three the, the three holes for the outside tap for the wall plate to sit on. And I think I used. I've, I've, I've looked round, and I think I've used red raw plugs. Whatever. Someone's commented. Can't believe you use red raw plugs. Sort of an amateur, are you? What have you not used brown? Genuine. And I'm like, what? So the next video, I was like, you know, thanks for watching, blah, blah, blah. And I went, if you've got any dickhead comments, I don't want to hear them. No. You know, I, I, obviously I'm going to have them. Now, yeah. now I've highlighted more. I'm going to get them. So I said, if I get one, I'm just going to put DHC. So after then, I'll get the odd little comment and I started putting DHC. Everyone who follows me or has knows, what, knows what it is. But I've got to the point now where someone will put a, a, a comment and some of the loyal subscribers will comment DHC. They got you great. back. Yeah. Off you go, off yeah. you go lads, ladies. Self moderating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's great. And I get a lot of people going, keep the content up. It's great. And that's encouraging. You know as well as I um, the effort you put in. And if you can just get someone to interact with you in that way I, I, I upload every every wednesday and sunday and people are like i sit down i get my stuff done on a sunday before i you know sort my stuff out i always sit down at six o'clock on a sunday and watch that ep- episode yeah Do you yeah know what i mean so it's literally like their soap isn't yeah, it yeah, yeah. And, and i and someone said to me i can't remember who it was or i might have heard it somewhere the the youtube monster it gets you so now i'm like I've got I've got nothing for for Sunday. I've got a I've got a. I need to find some. Yeah, I need to. Yeah. And then if you don't, I think since the start, since the eight months, I think I've missed two uploads, and I'm like, oh no, what's going to happen? I'm going to lose all my subscribers. <laughs> Everyone's going to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I'll go on and go. Sorry, sorry, I didn't put Wednesdays out. No, you take as much time off as you yeah, need. Yeah, that's it. People know you'll be back. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. Um, so, have you got any advice for listeners? Well, our listeners or your viewers that want to start up their own channel? First thing I would say, don't go into it thinking you're going to earn loads of money. It's, no, a, it's no. a long game. I think... You see you see big figures, don't you? Yeah. Some of these people, but they've got like yeah. millions of subscribers oh, and it's, it's a whole different Don't world. get me wrong, I can see how these 18, 19 year olds are, are rolling around in Lamborghinis and Ferraris. Yeah, yeah. I can see how they're doing that just by knowing the numbers that you can get. Just on the small numbers that I've got, and what you earn, I can see how if you, you know, if I was 10 times that, which these, you know, people are. Yeah. Um, but to get into it, I would say do your research first. I, I did six months watching channels, seeing how they do it, but do something different. I say the channels I watched, there was boiler specific ones, um, banter specific ones, this, that, and the other. I wanted that, that range and no one did it. So I'm going to go in there. But yeah, do your research. Don't think you're going to become a, a YouTube millionaire overnight. Um, and just enjoy it. Just do do the content because you want to do it. Don't force it and just sort of sit back. If you don't want to do it, you know, if you get three months in and no one's watching it, keep doing it. Yeah, keep Because you're away. doing it for yourself. <laughs> if you, I think if you got three months in and went, no one's watching it, I, I don't want to do it anymore, you weren't doing it for the right reasons you to begin with. You shouldn't have started, no. No, definitely. Um, but yeah, the rewards are there. You know, I, mean, I remember the first time um, I got something in the post. It was from um, Unilight. Unilight, who were just up the road, they sent me uh, two or three lights. And I, I think an Amazon box dropped through the door. And I'm, I've got Amazon Prime where you order it and it comes the next day. Yeah. Of course, I've walked in, there's a box on the side. Missus is going, what are you ordering now? And I'm going, I haven't ordered anything. I'm thinking, what have I ordered? I opened it up and it was just, you know, a little card you know, oh, just thought you'd like these, this, that, and the other. And I was like, whoa. And that's the way that it can can generate. And yeah. it's like that, that feel-good thing. All right, you know, someone appreciates what I'm doing. They're thinking that might be beneficial to them. They've took notice yeah, and thought, yeah, 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 let's get on board. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. 
But also, that's some good advice there. That is, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I, mean, I think if you if you're thinking about doing one, do one, and don't be put off by the first couple of days. I started doing mine. I went into the merch and the lads in Plumbase with the, my phone out filming. Oh, what are you bloody doing with that? Oh, oh, here he is, here he is. And you get this, that and the other. And then as you're consistently doing it, they get used to it. And then other tradesmen are coming in and they're like, all right, in the background, all right. You know. They enjoy it as well. Yeah, and they I, want to be a part yeah, of it. And I've been, yeah. In the summer, I was in the pub and uh, a lad's missus, she works in, in the hospital. And she's walked past the table and she's gone, Mark, she went, I have no interest in plumbing whatsoever she went but i find your channel really good to watch and i'm like what she went i've got i don't know what you're on about yeah but i just it's just engaging to watch and a mate of mine's daughters they're uh nine a little shout out to edith she's nine she used to watch um some kids cartoon show before school right my mate's messaging me going she every morning she gets up eight in a breakfast watching watching you plumbing your nine year old watching the plumbing <laughs> channel you know what she's destined to be. Wow, who yeah. knew? Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> so, have you got any plans for a side channel or with your cycling or cars or? Yeah, so as you know, John, I'm big into my cars, big into my cycling. Um, I've sort of teased a bit of cycling on the channel, 60 seconds, but it's very specific. YouTube is very specific. You can watch the view rates. You know, if you're not giving the, the subscribers the content they want, that it will drop off. I've even, off yeah. yeah, I've even done it doing bits to the in the van, you know, right, we finished that job, we're going to this job, and you can watch the view rate drop just because they flick it, they only want the plumbing. Yeah. So I think to to side step sidestep a channel with that um probably wouldn't work. But I just love I love the cycling, I love my cars, always have done. Um because you've got to have that break, haven't you, from work. You've yeah. got to have it. Um, Need to be able to switch off now. Yeah, yeah. and I say for the last 18 months I've struggled getting some quality time, but I've just started getting back on the bike and doing a bit on that. And you know, I've got myself a little little uh, toy for the weekends. So uh, hopefully, I've, I've know my cars. I've put a bit of money into that and hoping it's going to uh, go up in value a little bit. A little, Pay out. Yeah, a little, yeah, little Golf GTI. Your little investment. 30. Yeah, because we all know the investment that I had years ago and sold. That's mm. now. So I had a Sierra Cosworth back in the day, 2002 I sold it for, I remember it, 15 grand in 2002. Go on. And it, it, was, it was, uh, 15 grand in 2002 was mega money. Yeah. People were like, that's strong money for one of them. And that actual car still changes hands now and through the people I know on Facebook, I think the last time that car changed hands was 52 oh, grand. Oh, God. Good I, but it's the same. All the cars, you know, 205 GTIs, Golf GTI, they're all 15 Mega grand money. Now. Yeah, they're classics, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, well, they're modern classics, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, again, if we only knew then, they were 50 quid. I remember, I think I dumped one GTI in a bloody ditch or just left it there. Buy them at the back of the Wire magazine. Yes, with all the yeah, yeah. Guys. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so um, what should our listeners search for to find you on YouTube and your other socials? You're on Insta as well, aren't you? Instagram, yeah. Uh, MJTiff underscore plumbing and eating on Instagram and MJTiff plumbing on YouTube. Stick that in and uh, you can take a look and see what content I've got. See Hopefully, what you're up to. Yeah, I mean, as I said before, it's just real world plumbing. I just want it to come across as exactly how it is in the game. Yeah. So... Yeah, man. I just want—I want to know what's going on with these, this farm, this barn conversion. Oh, if mate! The decorator's going to turn up. If the so, tiling's going to get finished, this is the, to put his finger oh, out. This is the thing. <laughs> it's a builder that I've not worked for before, and being in the trade, people will know. If a builder rings you up and says, "All right, mate," and he's a, a builder of you know, he's been around years. All right, mate, uh, are you free? Do you want to come and do our plumbing? Your first thing as a tradesman: What's happened to your other plumber? Where's your other plasterer? Where's yeah, your other chipper? Yeah. So going into it, don't get me wrong, the guy is bang on. You invoice him, the money's there, he can't do any, nothing for you, uh, uh, can't do enough for you. But going into work with a new builder, new new guys, everyone works slightly different. So I've gone in, I've first fixed this barn off the drawings I've got. We've gone to second fix it. Oh no, they're, oh, they're not having that anymore. They've That's moved different. that to That's the changed. Ah, yeah. So I've addressed it with the builder and he's gone, Mark, just do what you've got to do. But it's you do that and then you're ripping your own work out and doing it's it again. It's frustrating. Oh, mate, it's soul-destroying sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And I can't knock the guy, he's good as gold. It's just 
get in the trace because I think he was predominantly I might be wrong but I think he was predominantly just put showers up showers floors and left it as a as a building then the customer or another team would come in and second fix it so I think he's just beginning to do the second fix and the finishing so mm -hmm. he's probably not bang on with the timings but no, we're getting there. You're getting there. Yeah, just as long as he's not fitting a certain brand shower. <laughs> oh, it man. looks like he's got over one, so you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that's all we've got time for today, mate. Thank yeah, you very much for coming in. It's yeah. been good to find out a bit more about you and introduce you to some of our listeners that might not yeah. know about you. So cool. if you are listening to the audio version of this, please make sure that you head over to our YouTube channel because there'll be some behind-the-scenes footage of Mark putting a little token into our uh, sticker wall. Yeah, yeah, so make sure, just search Build with a &E. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Head over there and you can see our wonderful smiling faces. Thanks again to you, mate. No worries. And thanks to you, the listener, for taking a seat at the Trades of the Round Table. See you next time. Yay! So if you're watching this on YouTube specifically, you're gonna get a bit of behind the scenes now. So Mark, you've seen our sticker wall, we've yes. had a few on there, and I spoke yeah. to you about coming in. Yeah. And you said you're gonna ring a sticker. Yeah. And then and then John May, I looked at my sticker collection and was like, because I've only got little stickers for um, on the front of boilers when I've done boiler work. So I'm like, oh no, I better better knock up some yeah, well, fix. So I literally <laughs> went online, sticker thing. Oh I need some decent size ones, so yeah, got some stickers man. Should we go over there? Yeah. Where do you want it? Just you bang want it up. Anywhere, you anywhere, anywhere here. We'll go with uh, some good company here, I think. Yes. We'll bang that there. there Beautiful, you go. mate. Sorted. Yeah, man, in good good company. Just need to fill it up now. Yeah, I know. You are now cemented. Yeah, yeah. Podcast studio. Nice one, mate. Thanks yeah, for coming man. in. Enjoyed that. Take care. See you next time.